are able to extricate yourself from the situation. Um, but now you have the final phase um, where you have to actually get the score. You have to retrieve this key that you need. You've been given some clues. Sea dock, secret floor, low dusty crates, water vault, don't wake something, and then four numbers, one, three, three, one. What's your next step as you retreat back to the safety of your bunk rooms to think of and to talk about the next step of the plan? Well, we're on Sky Dock fairly regularly to clean and stuff like that. So I think if we spend that time searching for what looks to be dusty crates and looking for secret entrance near or anything like that. The, word, the words were not Sky Dock, it was Sea Dock. Sea Dock, you're right. Which is all the way at the bottom, right? All yes. Right. And although the image shows uh, there's a sea, that, that is not. That is, there's land there. There is, there's no sea there. That would be looking out into at the edge of uh, normally space, but at the moment things are parked up, so um, there's actually like land looking over the edge of the spell okay, jar, of a land below. Um, but it is fondly called Sea Dock, and it is another uh, port where uh, spell jammers can go and drop things off the cargo there. The most uh, find it more comfortable to take the Sky Dock. It's blue and green, so it's not super high security. So I think we'd want to figure out a way to get assigned to work down there. See if there's like a way we can request that shift. Like, oh, like we love swapping the decks. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, let's let's just try it out. Okay, um, what's what's the story you're selling as you're <laughs> you're trying to get <laughs> extra duties? <laughs> and who are you selling it to? Mm. Oh, I look like an animal, but I love animals. Let me go play in the in the animal pens. <laughs> animal pens. Have we ever been down there? Do we know anything about this place? Uh, this was where you picked up the the crate, right? Um, the initially. So most of your work duties have been up in the sky dock, apart from that one time that you were sent down to, for the crate that held the nogis inside. It's a uh, it's a more direct line from people that work on the Spelljammer itself who, who come in from the city directly down to this one um, to to do most of the the basic supplies, shall we say, to the stores and things like that. So who's a who's like who assigns us work on a daily basis? Uh, Tardo is is often the one that's. Um, making sure that you're being kept busy and keeping tabs on you. Sereth seems to be appearing and asks pointed questions every now and again of how's everyone doing. And um, You're given most of your unenjoyable tasks from the, the two wee gnomes up on the sky dock. They, they uh -huh. seem to be the ones that always seem to find something that needs cleaning or fixing or repairing or Right. moving from one place to another and then it's moved back the next day back where it was the day before um so i guess we could ask tardo like oh, is it possible to be assigned uh, just for a change of pace we could be assigned to to sea dock for today instead of sky dock you know it's just becoming a bit tedious and i'd like to familiarize myself with the whole of uh more of the uh ink academy's structure Make a persuasion check. Fifteen. Yeah, that place needs a clean. Right. <laughs> Make sure you take the the brooms down from uh, admin. Sweep it up. It's uh, always full of dust down there. Mm -hmm. Copy that. As you say, Boston Tardo, our fellas. And lady, let's go on down there. Get some change of pace, change of scenery. Ladies. Ladies? Oh, who? Eshia? Uh, Zina. Oh, oh uh, Bia. Zina. I don't think Zina's with us. <laughs> Is she with us again? Or no? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I, I assumed it was just our crew, and then we were separated by crew again. Uh, if, if you want Vina to be involved, she will willingly help. All right, ladies, let's go. Vina 
kind of adopted her into our cleaning crew. <laughs> cleaning? Ooh. Is that what we're really doing? Are we doing something cool? <laughs> we hear there's some really dusty crates down there. Need special attention. We hear, we hear there's lurking horrors. Oh, lurking horrors, that's cool. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. Total chaos is what uh, they say. Uh, okay, so you've, you've managed to get access uh, without being suspicious down in the sea dock. And now, while we're cleaning, I suppose we'll... As, as we're kind of getting down there, uh, Zeminius will cast Enhance Ability on Ace. Ace, what's your, your perception? You have a pretty good perception, right? It's it's pretty good. It's plus four. I mean, it's not great. I think that's kind of the best that we got. Yeah, mine's only plus three. Mine's plus four, too. Oh, actually, it's also plus four. Um, before, <laughs> before we do that, I actually want to actually wanna try something. Uh, oh, yeah, do your thing. Like, if you want to do that. Um, so because of my beast totem thing, um, I actually am going to go to the animal pen and I'm going to use uh, speak with animals and I'm going to see if one of them can find a hidden chamber underneath the sea dock for us. Mm. Okay. There is this very weird, it kind of looks like a fluffy Doberman almost, like a, a curly haired, <laughs> long haired Doberman. It's a very, you know, like have about that angular snout, but mm -hmm. but much longer and curlier here. And it instead of two eyes, it has three. Nice. This is the animal which seems more most interested in your questions. I am Snarl. What is it you seek? I can find anything. I have the best nose of any of these two-eyed creatures. Master Three Eye. Can you use your nose to find us a hidden chamber beneath this dock? No, but I can. I am Snarl. Do not ask Master Three-Eye. I am Snarl. I am the smartest of all of these other creatures, and I shall find it. Do not ask Three-Eyes. Ask me. I am Snarl. My apologies. Snarl, would you be able to find us this place? Yes, I am much smarter than Three-Eyes. Who is Three-Eyes? I thought I was the only one with three eyes. Yes, let me, let me from my cage and I shall find. What, what are you, what are you looking for again? A hidden chamber that no two eyes can find. Aye, I will find it. Where is this chamber? Take me to the place where this chamber is hidden and I shall find it from its hidden place and we shall discover it with my excellent nose. <laughs> I don't know where it is. That's why I need your help. <laughs> I see. Well, I shall find it. Let, let me loose and I will... What are we looking for? A, a hidden chamber? Okay. <laughs> a hidden chamber. Yes. I will find it. Hmm. I, I'll let him out. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> uh, give me a animal handling check. Uh, the, the, the ability to speak has given you advantage, though. Oh, okay. Is this thing Doberman sized? Uh, yes, it is Doberman sized. Oh. Right. Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Snarl bounds up the stairs into Admin and starts sniffing around Admin, searching for a secret chamber in the wrong place. Sweet. Chaos ensues above. There, there is a uh, a minor setback which um, will need to be righted. Otherwise, your uh, checks, the rest of your checks, uh, are going to suffer a disadvantage unless you can solve the snarl situation. Uh, I guess I'll just chase after him. I don't think he can get away from me. Um, I'll try to capture him. While you're going, uh, Zeminius will give you bardic inspiration and pass guidance on you, Circo. You'll be like, you're basically an animal yourself. Uh, <laughs> Axel, and then pat you, give you a stop in the back. I'm sure he'll take care of it quite quickly. And, as, uh, as you arrive up into the uh, admin area, you can see that Snarl has leapt over the counter where you talked to the Thrycreen <laughs> woman who gave you the Snarl. Gifts, has upended her chair, sniffing all around her, walking all over her. Yeah. Who has unleashed this beast? <laughs> yeah, in, in, you know, in a heisty vein, what you should do is just make an utter mess of it and a huge distraction upstairs and we can create the space to came down here. Got, you got them all distracted. I mean... Lean into the You cameras. want me to just tell them to go rampant upstairs? 
<laughs> but I mean, they, they, they know we are the ones down here, so. Yeah, and they're already leaving us alone. We're supposed to be down here cleaning, so it's not yeah. like to. Yeah, um, Axel's gonna try to uh, capture him. Snarl! This isn't where we're supposed to look! He's gonna chase him. Going to find. You don't know. You don't know where the secret chamber is. I know. I have the nose. I have the best nose. I have the Snarl's nose. <laughs> you kill Snarl. <laughs> non lethally I'm gonna try to get him. <laughs> you could well try animal handling. I well or you try whatever, but I give you you have guidance, so yes, you have to still it's, check. it's still animal handling to get him under control. Okay. Is it still advantage or no? No. Okay. That'll do it. Uh, uh, this is the wrong place, you say? Take me to the wrong under, place. Under the dock, Snarl. Back down. Um, nobody can understand you because you're speaking in the tongue of beasts. Um, <laughs> so, uh, ah, back down, I see. And he just leaps over, kicking the Thrike Green woman <laughs> out of the way. She yelps and- I'm so sorry. And, he, and he's gonna pick her up in the chair. Okay. Well, what happened? Were you cleaning the animal pens and he escaped? Yes. I'll go lock him up now. And he's gonna run down. <laughs> Stare the ball. <laughs> All right. That will uh, neutralize the disadvantage for the rest of you. Okay. Jesus. Snarl? Yes, Act not like Luna. Damn. <laughs> Okay, uh, um, how are the rest of you going to try and find the correct location down here? Snarl didn't really work out. Is Snarl not, he's not going to attempt to find it still? Ah, yeah, he will, but uh, you guys might have been more efficient in the meantime. But oh, I see. At the moment, um, he's, he's a bust in the meantime. What, what have you guys Yeah, yeah. Uh, I cast Owl's Wisdom on, on Ace. I'll cast on Ace. Yeah, so Ace has advantage on... Uh, wisdom checks, including perception. And then, yeah, um, Zominus will just look. He'll use a perception check as he's cleaning, as he's looking around, looking specifically for really dusty crates that look like they might be hiding something. So that's what he will do. Okay. No bueno. That's a nine. Uh, it seems that in his running around, a lot of Crates have been bumped by Snarl, moved, dust has spread throughout the chamber, and it's kind of hard to figure out which are the dusty crates and which are just all of the crates. And there are a lot of crates down here. Damn it, Snarl. (laughs) (laughs) This is a problem solved by tedious organization. (laughs) First we start at one side, we move some crates, we look, we move some next crates. Yeah, I guess just thoroughly actually clean it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna use my powers of obsessive compulsive to <laughs> sweep the place. So yeah, move, just move, move them systematically. Just whatever crates. All right. Stack them nicely this time. Move them. Push. Check. Push. Move. Stack. Check. Investigation. Oh. There we go. Twenty-four. You systematically move the crates, and you notice that there's a change in the sounds on a certain part of the floor. Um, you, you don't have the dust to, to guide you, but the, the sound beneath you makes you think that there's a part of the floor that's different from the rest of the floor. The amount of time and the, the, the dog has, has drawn the attention of the, essentially the person in charge of the, the wharf down here. Did anybody ask you to move all of the crates from one place to another? Now, those crates are meant to stay where they were. I need you to put them all back because they're meticulously organized and I know where all of my crates are and where all of the new crates are being brought and you just moved everything from one side of the room to the other. This is a setback from from Zeminius's uh, failure from before um, which is going to need to be overcome um, before you can actually try and get access to the secret floor that Dr. Karras discovered. We were assigned to work down here my good sir. We're well, the good doctor carries. Were you assigned doing. to move my crates? Well, as a clean. To, of course, they're not really clean, but perhaps we've overstepped. We'll simply uh, return the crates to where they were meant to be. Our apologies. He's just standing there glaring until he sees the the 
the crates back in their proper place. And which one are your crates in uh, particular? I want all of the crates back exactly where they were before. <laughs> um, okay. uh, yes, and, and we'll do that. Do you not uh, trust that we will no, perform that? I have no confidence in your ability to do that. I'll wait here until that happens under my stern eye, young man. <laughs> um, well, you're, you're welcome to do that. Um, and I was not I asking guess... for your permission. <laughs> and what's your name, sir? Terence. Scarence? Terence. Ah, Terence, I see. Oh, interesting. Well, it's nice to meet you, Terence. Um, I'm, I'm not sure... <laughs> uh, he'll, he'll just be like, he'll, he'll nod a little bit and be like, Axel, could you come over here for a second and and help me move these crates? Uh, Axel has just come back down with um, Snarl. Uh, oh, are you taking Snarl back to his pen or what? Who the hell let Snarl out of his the pen? What is going <laughs> on? <laughs> it's okay, I got him. And uh, he'll take him back to the pen and then come help. So move the crates. Um, yeah, so I managed to be like, well, simply, uh, as you can see, so Terrence, are you responsible for the, the state of, uh, are you responsible for the CDOC? Is that what's going on? Yes, I'm the Wolfmaster, Wolfmaster Terrence. Some people uh, call me Wolf Terrence the Tyrant. Uh, a Tyrant, and what a, um, slovenly kingdom you rule. It was dusty and disgusting down here. I'm sure Bos and Tata would like to hear about the state you've kept things in, correct? Um, Surf himself, I think he was uh, absolutely would be in in fits if he were to hear how out of sorts this was was uh, this place was. So they sent us down here to clean it, and there's no need for us to mention that to them, of course. But if, of course, me and you, we can reach an understanding. We're simply All right. young. It's a very very subtle intimidation. So yeah, me intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Nineteen. Well, yes, no, 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 mm, uh, hmm, I'm, ah, uh, over here, me, going, yeah. carry on, <laughs> he leaves, <laughs> see you later, I'm tied, <laughs> alright, <laughs> um, alright, great, so, yes, Mr. says, alright, he's dealt with, um, what have you found, Dr. Carey? Uh, well, let's see, and she'll reach down as I'll sort of look to see if there's a latch or something, Open it up. Yes, uh, you quickly find that the floor can be moved and there is a uh, narrow opening below which seems to drop down into an actual pool of water. Uh, All right. As you look down into the water though, you see that there are some glints of metal. And as you look more, the glints of metal are actually little bells that have been strung across the pathway to maybe some type of metallic door. It looks blurry in the distance. It's some 20 feet down, maybe you can see that there's some type of metallic bottom to this pool that could be a door of some type of vault. But these little bells have been strung by maybe fishing line or something like that, making it not an easy path to reach that door and without tripping or snagging a leg on one of the fine uh, fish wires and ringing the bell. Uh, I imagine this is what uh, Murtaugh is warning us about. These bells, I'm sure, wake something quite nasty. Like an aisle with a clock inside it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, v v Vina, you're interested in the whatever horror is looking beneath. I was totally joking. There's no way I'm going down there. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think one of us could reach that the door without um, touching the bell? Uh, I mean, Ace, I think, should try, not me. Pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sneaky. Uh, I've swam uh, before. All right, Ace, and um, Zimmy so said, give him a bardic inspiration. Ah, you've... The, the the touch and grace of a ballerina, I'm sure you'll be quite fine. Um, and then he will... I think he's gonna drop 
enhance ability and give you guidance. And so, the flame guy just said. <laughs> just kind of dive in like an otter. Try to twirl around it. All right. Give me acrobatics with disadvantage because of the the water situation. Unless you can convince me that Ace is a an adept swimmer who might I mean, be familiar uh, with such situations. I mean, he has uh, yeah. spent some time on boats. On boats, not in water. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Also, um, like space boats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if I have a compelling argument. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Acrobatics with disadvantage. Well, yeah. With the guidance. Oh, nice. 25. He's a natural in the water. Watched a lot of otters. <laughs> like an otter. Through these strung out lines, not snagging a single one, and reaches what is in fact a metallic door with some type of wheel, a numbered wheel on the door. Gonna turn it to there is a small point, and it seems to be on the five at the moment. The numbers go from zero to nine. I uh, return it to the right until I get to the number one, and then I guess turn it to the left until I get to uh, three, and turn it the opposite way until I come back to three, and then back to the one. Okay, and as you go through that process, the door doesn't open. Make a constitution check for me as you're down there under the water holding your breath holding the breath. All right, you're, you're okay. There's a little bit of a struggle. You wouldn't want to be down here for too much longer. Um, Starting to burn. Ace is certain he must be on the right track. What is the only mistake that he could have made? One, three, three, one. Um, maybe he turned it in the wrong direction? Like, to start off? Yeah. Maybe we'll invert the direction. Invert the way I was turning it. Try it the opposite way. As you invert the direction and go through the same process, you hear a satisfying clunk Ooh. and the door loosens. The water begins to rush into an airtight chamber and you can see that there's a, a, a small, beautifully crafted box in there, um, which immediately is being rushed by the water. Can I grab it, the whole box? The last thing you need to do is get back past those bells. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do an acrobatics roll again with disadvantage. You could also misty step out, right? How deep was it? Uh, just enough to misty step out of. <laughs> I definitely, I would burn, definitely burn that daily. That once a day misty step out of. You have to. All right, dripping with dripping water. Water everywhere, all over uh, the dusty floor. Just everyone, give me a, a communal group stealth check and roll for Vina as well. Uh, she has a plus three. You don't have disadvantage though. Nineteen. Oh. Uh, it's it's uh, good yeah. enough. Anyway. Still had yeah. clicked, I guess. Yeah. Oh. There's a moment when uh, Terence the Tyrant kind of like walks past and glances your guys' ways and you're all of a sudden looking like totally relaxed. Nothing going on here. And he just carries on. Just water just dripping. <laughs> yeah. just, like, just wiping something off. It was Vina. Scroll up there, too. Okay, still, as, as, as an effort as a group, uh, you've passed with flying colors. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> You are in possession of the score, Mert's Music Box. But well, nice job, guys. Also been yeah, great. shockingly smooth so far. <laughs> uh, nervous for what's to come. Where do you retreat to <clears throat> now that you're in possession of Mert's Music Box? So well, he yeah. does have his own fancy private room. Yeah, although I would actually try to put back his stuff. The, I'd say we should return <laughs> turn to the Tyrant's stuff, at least to cover our tracks, okay. you know? So we kind of hurry up, put that stuff back, clean a little bit, and then yeah, go to go to Zominius's private quarters. You pop open the music box, and there is a tiny figure of Mert in a ballerina pose, <laughs> some type of coil that begins to spin around and play a tinkling little tune, while a voice speaks to you. Greetings, agents. You have discovered the key to cell 13. This key was hidden purposefully to prevent prisoner 13's escape from the jail dock before proper intel extraction was complete. However, the only manner you are alive after opening this box is with the monkey's blessing. Thus, I, 
Mert. Wish you all the best infiltrating the prison and completing the proper intel extraction required, as you deem fit. The prisoner has proved uncooperative to date. The prisoner is a chaos associate who has been blacklisted by our foes for reasons we are yet to understand. If you are required to spring her from the jail in order to acquire this intel, you have council level clearance. No agents beneath council level authority should be alerted of your plans. You are effectively going rogue with our blessing. Once you have the information, please return to Inc. headquarters in a timely fashion and make an in-person report to a qualified senior black tie officer. At that time, your demerits will be revoked and you will be reinstated with honors. Please consult the gem for, de for details of the jail dock floor plans. Good luck. And may the monkey guide you. And it stops moving, runs out of spin. You notice that in the music box, there is uh, an orange sized gem and a small envelope, uh, which is labeled quick start guide. And there is also a key lying in the box. Ooh, instructions. Yeah. I'll read the instructions. <laughs> the quick start guide reads the following. Wave hand over the gem, floor plans will appear. Tap the gem, floor plans will disappear. Press the top of the gem for a number of seconds equal to the number of active agents infiltrating the prison. The sapphire will split into this number of sections. Hold a fragment until it grows warm. Map will be installed. Future map use. Think about the map of the jail dock and you will be able to see it. Expiry date, you have five days until the internal map will fade. So it splits into sections and allows each section to have the map. Is that what um, that second portion is? Uh, it seems to be that depending on the number of seconds that you hold down the top of the gem, um, mm -hmm. will split it into an equivalent number of fractions, which then each person's meant to hold a fraction of the gem to essentially absorb the information contained within it that will be held for five days. I see. Sweet. Nice. Sweet. So each of us only gets a fraction of the map. Ah, uh, no, a fraction of the gem to absorb the map. The whole map. Oh, so we get the whole map. We got five days to use it once we do that. Five days to finish. Yeah. There's a knock at the door. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> I have an update. Um, can I come in? Sure, my Kevin. What's up? Um, well, uh, I was just um, contacted from my contact uh, within okay. the prison. Yeah, yeah. What kind of yeah. um, So, whenever you'd like to talk about that, just, uh, you know. Let me know, and I'll um, tell you what he said. Is it now a good time? Yeah, it's now is a good time, Kevin. Actually. Um, so, what information do you have for us? He says that uh, when we decide to go, that uh, he's going to have a uh, prison riot ready for us, uh, and uh, that should distract the guards and allow you to. Well, us, because I'm obviously coming with you, um, to get into the prison undetected. Um, okay. So Very he good. said um, he will interfere with the emergency lockdown protocols um, for as long as possible. Um, and he suggested that we go during the graveyard shift um, because there's uh, some new guards and uh, there'll be a, a new elevator operator um, working uh, who should be easy to convince to let you, us, because I'm coming with you, um, into the prison. So um, his name is Gerald, apparently. Um, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, uh, a gunsmith, apparently. Makes some... Um, Muskets and things, I think that means. 
This is the elevator guard, the new elevator yeah, guard. Yeah, Gerald, he's a, he's a kobold um, gunsmith called Gerald. Ah. Um, he said we should have a story ready, though, for Gerald. We need a story of some sort. Um, it says Gerald's a bit nervous, really. So, um, that, that's, that's what he said. Um, and then he said, uh, in and out, um, will be, uh, essential before lockdown happens. If you get caught, um, with lockdown, you'll be locked in. So, um, he says that the normal patrols should be neutralized, um, until the lockdown protocol uh, happens because of the riot so just try not to get killed huh. easy is it easily enough said um and uh the prison is located where remind me uh Istria says um i think i think i know where it is it's where we where we uh yeah, it's it's where we park the what's her accent again? <laughs> yeah. uh, wow. Well, uh, yeah. It was where we park the tyrant ship. Uh, I think I remember. Uh, it was where I was jarred, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, I That's think it good. was where uh, they jar everyone. Probably you too. If there are clues to where our real body went, I think it will be in there somewhere. Oh, interesting. So, but this is not a separate, is it a separate facility that we'd have to fly to? Or is this a um, part of this? It is a separate facility. Okay, I figured. Yeah. So where you landed the tyrant ship, you got yeah. taken from there for the hammer ship back to the academy. So, it is. It is. Uh, the academy is right out on the edge of the city, whereas this is um, on one side of the city. So you're crossing half the city to reach it, essentially. Um, you could go on foot, but your chances of like finding your way through this foreign, strange, weird city would be a challenge. Certainly, would be much simpler to fly there. Ah, perhaps we can call in our favor from from Earl, and he could give us a. A lift over there. Oh. Yes. Um. Oh, and the, I um, I did overhear something. Um, I'm really sorry. Um. I think tomorrow morning they're um. They're going to arrest Ace and Istria. For um. What? What? What did you tell them, Mikael? I didn't tell them anything. What did you tell Sir? I said that um, that we were attacked by the Murkane. Is this because I almost left you in space? What? <laughs> Is this because I almost left you in space? I think... <laughs> I said I was sorry. No, I wasn't. I didn't. That's not what happened. I like you. Oh, okay. No, I, I, I like you too. I, I don't want to be... I just, I just heard. I thought, I thought maybe oh, you'd you want that yourself. information. You maybe we should... Maybe tonight's a good time to go. Should oh. I... Should I tell? I totally agree. No, no. Thank should you I tell Ravioli tonight? Yes, I think tonight's our only option then. Okay, I'm I'm ready for when you're ready. What time is it now? It would be uh, early afternoon. And the graveyard shift would start at like midnight. Yeah. All right. All right, everybody. Um, unless you have other things you need to do, I suggest everyone get some rest to recuperate. Um, if you have uh, some, do you want to spend some money in the shop or some creds, whatever, what have you, I suggest you do so because I doubt after this we'll be coming back to yeah. Spell Jammer Academy for some time. Seems like we're gonna need all of our gear. Yeah, so um, Zemius would like to go rest. He's just gonna go rest and get up um, basically. Around. Are you doing anything with the the gym? You've had written oh, yeah, instructions, no, but not, no one's actually tried it out. Yeah, I guess we should. Uh, yeah, let's it up. into what's wave hands over gym. Plans will appear. Should we hold it for six seconds? Doctor Carey does that, and woof, this three D map of uh, the jail uh, appears. Is it is it is it interactive? Like, can we tell that, you know prisoner prisoner X is here? And oh, there it is. Yes. 
Yeah, there's quite a bit of information on the map. Oh, shoot. So... Permanent anti-magic field. Okay. You're able to, from, from the map, see where the cells are, and clearly marked is Prisoner 13 cell. Um, there's also some blinking lights um, that seems to mark the patrol routes of the guards. You're able to orient yourself that the docks that appears there must be the docks where you parked the turret ship, where you left from with the turret ship, and you've seen a number of other strange ships parked there. Um, and there, around that area, you have seen a number of operating cranes as well. So one of those must be the elevator that seems to descend uh, a large distance to transport okay. you to this area, lower than the dock itself by 160 feet. So how do you guys yeah, imagine us getting over there? I feel like Earl is probably our best bet. I, I mean, a related question is, how do we get out? Well, if our ship is there, we commandeer that and bounce. Yeah, we could take yeah, one of the pirate ships or the time. Or another ship. We might just have yeah. to ba- commandeer another uh, ship. And I, did you mention that this turtle is yours? Uh, yeah, actually, that was the ship I uh-huh. when I was taken. Is that something we can? Is that got a helm? Can we fly it? It's not a spell jammer. Hmm. That I know of. It does have a spell jammer crashed into the shell of the turtle. <laughs> uh, rather yeah, rudimentary can... spell jammer compared to the hammer ships, but yes. Right, right, right yeah. I'm almost afraid to ask what is what it's what it, how it's gun which which end does guns come out of? Yeah, we'll see what our options are when we get there. Right. Just shop around. <laughs> it's a good ship. So, yeah, um, Zemi should want to go find Earl and talk to him and see if we can get him to agree, like, um, to take us over there. Okay. See if he's in the area. So, for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to ask for a blistering pace of uh, you guys trying to get in and get out. And I'm just gonna throw things at you. Oh hell yeah! As soon okay. as things go to hell, even if it's in ten minutes, that's where we'll stop. And because I'm I'm not prepared for this to go into like a full blown <laughs> combat, but this could easily spill out into like a a, a massive sprawling battle that you might have to fight your way through because everything goes to hell. So if things are going well, you're going to avoid the worst part of that. If things go to hell, then we're going to stop as soon as hell starts and then we'll pick up from hell the next time with a full-blown battle. All right. Okay? All right, cool. Um, So if you want to talk to Earl, just say, I'm going to talk to Earl and let's let's go. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, he goes, somebody just goes to talk to Earl and basically tries to call in that favor and be like, Earl, um... We, yeah, we need to uh, need a ride over to this um, dock where our ship is at this time, like around 11 p.m. Um, and, you know, it'd be re- really appreciated. It's for the good of, it's for the good of everything. Let's see what Earl says. Give me that persuasion check. Ooh. Wow, if it's for the good of everything, then not, you know. <laughs> 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 Great. Um, I'll bring the drinks. <laughs> you just have Definitely. All right. Uh, Earl's down Earl. to give you a ride. All right. Down to clone. Um, that's all Zeminis has to do to prepare. He's going to rest otherwise. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. We'll pack up all his stuff. He's ready to go. Yeah, I don't need to grab all my stuff. Come midnight, you are coasting over the the uh, Spelljammer city, the spectacular lights lighting it up, and um, coming into land on the docks. Disembarking from the docks and getting to the prison, you don't want to be noticed. So any failure from here is going to give you a basically a suspicion score. If your suspicion score reaches six, then you failed miserably, and that's where we stop. And next time, that's where the combat begins. Um, okay. So, how are you getting from Earl's ship to the correct crane that you need to find, which is the elevator? Um, you kind of don't know exactly uh, which is the correct crane um, and where Earl has parked. He's kind of giving you a general direction 
where there are a number of cranes in the direction that he's pointing. Um, just, just, just over there, guys. Just yeah, just if you keep going that way, oh, it's just yeah. There's the elevator. It's really obvious. It's just yeah. I know they look the same, but <laughs> it's you know it's, it's it's one of those ones. All right. Well, good luck for the good of the people and yeah. Okay. Cheers. Like there's another Cheers. pass around of the <laughs> bottle that he he passes around of this absolutely sublime uh, Scotch whiskey. All right, nice. I'll take yeah. So let me just take a sip. Um, Axel will take more than a sip. <laughs> oh, oh, easy on there, big fella. Oh, oh, oh. Just, just, yeah. oh, nah, just kidding. Have another sip. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I need to find the shaft, and there's, there's no guards or anything that we could notice around. Uh, you could, you, you could use if someone wants to make a perception check. You've already kind of had a role there with your uh, convincing uh, Earl to give you a ride. So if someone else could do yeah. that, that would be great. Perception. Yeah, looking out for guards. Oh, sorry. Oh, that being used as much Oh. <laughs> I'll take the first roll. Nice. Sorry, guys. As he's wandering around, has has bumped into an ink agent, a black tie ink agent. Noticing the the red uh, in your guys' suits, he's, uh, what are you doing out here at this time of night, cadet? Why aren't you with the academy? Uh, I was said to check on that tyrant ship we flew back in make sure there there wasn't any evidence left on it um, well that's back in that direction and he, he oh, he's that pointing way uh, r- sure thing sir give me a deception to see if you can convince him of going that way yep get rid of the penalty oh no, no. no. that's not the way <laughs> uh, what was your name cadet uh, uh, ace uh someone can step in and try and uh, rescue this uh, situation from Ace, who's uh, seemed to have put his foot in it here. Um, <laughs> by uh, trying to help out a friend, you can step in, make a check to try and correct Ace's error at a DC of two higher. The DC is going to be 17 to get him out of this um, with the the two increased DC. If you fail this attempt to fish him out of this, it's going to increase the DC for everyone for the rest of this part of the challenge by one. It's going to go from 15 to DC 16 for everyone. Whereas if we don't step in, we just build suspicion? Uh, Yes. Yes, that would be two suspicion instead of one because of the the net one there. Um, I guess I'm going to try and step in and just be like, yes, this is uh, this is X uh, Hey, Ace, I'm sorry, Ace, under um, my command, uh, we're just junior cadets trying to uh, get things done over here. Uh, apologies, um, senior officer. Um, I'll make sure to get him straight in line right away. You don't have to worry about that. Um, thank you for keeping him in line. Let's let's go, Ace. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, get out of the officer's hair, get back to the ship and onto our mission. Yes, sir, Captain. Come on now. <laughs> Did it work? He's gonna march you guys back uh, to the tyrant ship, uh, accompanying you there. Um, did you say okay. your, what, what did you say your name was, Cadet? You're you're in charge of this rebel. Uh, Captain Dominius, of course. Well, you're not a captain yet, son. You're still a cadet. So, uh, yes. Uh, and those with you, and he takes everyone's name, right? Uh, I'm just going to go and verify this. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Uh, so you've got, the group's got suspicion two, um, and now the DC 16 for the rest of this part of the oh. challenge. Um, wait, wait a second. So he said, he takes us in, does he take us into the tyrant ship? No, he marches you back. He's walked you back to so your progress. Uh, you can see Earl's ship is gone now. Um, he's walked you all the way back to the dock. So you're still, uh, just as far as you were away from those cranes that Earl kind of showed you was over in that general direction. You still don't know exactly where it is. And now you've got an agent who's going to verify that you're meant to be on the docks at this time of night, who's going to be back in 10 minutes. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we're, so we're outside. We're not in any sort of. You're just outside area the tyrant ship. You can see okay. the other ships lined up on the dock. Um, Hmm. I know, I'm just like, should we jump this guy? That's basically where I'm like, should we just jump him right now and be like, 
Ooh. Uh, we're just gonna say, <laughs> I, I'm concerned that black tie means very high level. <laughs> two, two, for <laughs> now. Yeah, we've already got a ticking clock, you know. This is this is an exciting heist. We just got another ticking clock. Yeah, I would leave him. You can let him let him be. We just get Cabby here when he comes back. That's all. Yeah, when he's like, yeah. um, mm -hmm. all right. Sure, of course, sir. Where you know, find out we are fully verified to be in this area. And he might be waiting for us uh, here when we're done. That's maybe more reason to uh, find a different ship. Uh, true. So we'll wait till he leaves, and then. Oh yeah, you've got ten minutes before he's gonna rush. be back. So. Yeah. You got ten minutes to basically get into the elevator. Yeah. Wow. So we'll book it for that next direction. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Carey or Axel, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need one of you to take charge. Uh, have you taken any other? Obviously, um, McKevin is with you. Have you taken anyone other than McKevin on, on your mission? Are you taking any of the other... Uh, are you taking, for example, your autonome with you? Uh, are you taking Vina with you? Vina is willing to accompany you on this mission um, and leave behind her sidekicks to, to join your group if you wanted her with you. Is there anyone else that you think you could have convinced to come along um, to become part of your steady crew or are you keeping it just, just uh, the core group? I think we should definitely. Take, yeah, Vina's fine. We should yeah, definitely take Vina. Yeah, yeah. He's, they're, they're, they're gonna they're gonna put him into some factory work or something. <laughs> take him back. Okay, so apart. Vina's with you. Yeah. Bibbidi's with you. Anyone else? Yeah, and McKevin. McKevin, yes. One of those can be used for a fifth check for the group to find the elevator. For example, hmm. I think I could possibly analyze this vector and find the correct train location by analyzing the echoes through the ground. Shall I make a seismic check? Ooh, neat. Uh, sure thing, Tom Vidi. Um, I'm sure you're quite capable of doing that, and he'll give him a party inspiration. Okay. So he's gonna uh, investigate. He's got a plus four in his investigation. I'm sure the dice will go in your favor eventually. <laughs> who, who did you just inspire? Uh, Tom Vidi. So Tom Vidi can use party inspiration as well. Oh, yeah. see, I must not be seeing a tracker. I. Okay. There isn't. No, there isn't for that for Thumb Baby, really. I will. Uh, I'm rolling a, a plus four. Yes. E plus four. Great. There's that. And then. Well, okay. Don't even need to. Is, is it. Are there degrees of success? Should I roll those? Uh, there are no degrees of success right. currently. So, yes. Then we'll save that. Moving ahead very uh, rigidly. <laughs> goes in the correct direction, takes you as swiftly as possible to the, the correct crane, uh, where you spot a, a wee uh, kobold sitting in the seat of the crane, uh, wearing a prison guard uniform. So we also cast guidance on Axel. All right, Axel, do your thing. So we'll walk up to the kobold <laughs> and uh, use a daunting roar to get him <laughs> to get out of the, the chair oh. like right next to him okay so you're intimidating him um dc is 14 if you want to do it that way or do you want me to roll uh the dc uh oh he has to he has to roll for you uh to resist what does what is a daunting roar exactly uh daunting roar is a bonus action you let out an especially menacing roar creatures of your choice within 15 feet of you or 10 feet of you can hear that can hear you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got more too. Damn. Uh, 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 that's not, not uh, the, uh, the correct procedure to uh, be, be mm, doing that. It was quite terrifying. I, I almost wet myself. Uh, what, what is the meaning of this? I need the crane. Damn it. What, what do you mean you need the crane? No, you do not know the crane. I know the crane. You do not know the crane. I I move the crane. And I say I do not move the crane. But, uh, and, that, and, that, um, and that guidance wouldn't help uh, me because of, of what, what it was for him. Uh, was you can still, you, let's say you can still use your, like, he's resisted. He hasn't just run away magically, so you haven't been able to avoid making a check. But you can still make an intimidation check. God, these uh, rules. Uh, and, and you might yeah. think you're big and scary, but, but I'm small and scary. Yes, I am. I'm. My mum said I was and I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, unless someone saves that situation, 
Uh, that is going to give you guys uh, Suspicion 4. Uh, uh, Ravioli sent us uh, down. He wants us to be down there with him, helping him out. All right. Using Ravioli's name is going to give you uh, an advantage on the persuasion check. Call directly for us to help. God damn it. It's like it has one. It's all going to hell. Well, yeah, this is a. Uh, you, you have advantage, good... though, I said, from not using yeah. his name. Oh, that's it. <clears throat> well, uh, so that's taking the the difficulty up to <laughs> seventeen now. Um, well, well, Ravioli uh, did, might have said that, but but recently there's been events, and I can't say what they are because it's none of your business. But something's happening that I'm not going to tell you what it is, and you need to come back. To, to speak with Ravioli at, at, at another time. Thank you and good night. It might be time for violence. About, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> about eight minutes have passed. You've had about two minutes before uh, yeah. <laughs> ink agents here and uh, searching for you guys. Well, there should be a, a, a prison rat happening soon ish, hopefully. So yeah. okay. that could cover our. Uh, is that the incident he's referring to now? He seems very nervous. Gerald, there's a riot happening. We need to get down. Is, do you say that out loud? Uh, yeah, why not? How do you know? Look, it's all under control. We have it all under control. We're very good at our jobs. That's not what said. That's not what Ravioli said, or why would he call us here? Oh, oh he called you about the, about the about the right? You've come to help with the situation? Why would we just show up at the prison of all places? That's a good question. Why did you show? Okay, uh, good. De- deception and again with advantage. I mean, they can't all be bad, right? <laughs> That's good. Oh, okay. Okay, that will be the third uh, success. I think that you guys have got right. You've got three successes and two failures. Earl, Thumbabidi, and Ace. Yeah. Mm. Uh, w- well, um, if I if I could just. Um, uh, uh, do, do you Wait. have your uh, your clearance? Your your uh, well well. Mm, uh, oh, to, I mean, you can go and help, but oh, <laughs> you're here to help with things. But uh, I'm gonna need to see the clearance, though. You, you, you do have some type of documentation for your uh, entry into the prison tonight, because that's what you usually have to have. Uh, Zominius will use. He'll be like, oh, of course. I reach behind him. Use. Uh, 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 song of creation just like it so he's humming to himself and then pull out a scroll that has um Interesting. Uh, looks very official uh that will give you an automatic success um what there you go what does uh that take you time wise um i think it's an action oh nice okay yeah <laughs> Uh, he's he's kind of nervously trying to to jiggle the gears and he's kind of uh, I'm so, oh, how does this go again oh so, sorry it's my third night um he's just taking a really long time dr carrie needs to to contribute uh to tip this over somehow yes uh <laughs> I think she's getting just very impatient with this guy at this point and she just is she just wants to reach in and just whatever left just pull it. You should do it like this. See, you just read this. Goes over here like this. She's <laughs> supposed to activate the thing for him at this point. Beautiful. Uh, so, I think that would be uh, probably an investigation would be the most appropriate, or unless there's some tool that you think is more appropriate. Mm, mm, I think they're all the same as far as my bonus is going to. Uh, investigation is good for me. And I rolled a one. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, let's just cut our way in. Uh, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 gear like <laughs> um seems to kind of like break the elevator, but it starts like going down. You are hearing a call coming from uh the other end of the street. You lot, there! Stop where you are. Um, you could now leap into the elevator, which seems to now be like in a free descent, um, and get into the prison or uh, confront these ink agents here on the street uh, with 
the the ink agent who just went to investigate you and is, is calling uh, out your name. Um, are you jumping in the elevator, or are you staying uh, up here to confront the ink agent? How far is the free falling elevator? Good? It doesn't matter. I jump. I'm in. It's, it's about it's about ten feet. If you if you jump down ten feet, if you go now. Yeah. Okay. Or jump in. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right you leap in into the elevator, the elevator and that's where Shoot. we leave things. All right. <laughs> I will prepare an epic battle for next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh my God. Literally could not have gone worse. For as well as the first one went, the second one didn't go as well. <laughs> we did too good on the first one. All right. Excellent. Ooh. And and so begins uh, chapter one of the next part of our adventure. All right, nice. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, thank you for your uh, wonderful creativity, and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks. All right. All right great. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Good night. Take it easy.